What's going on everybody, Diala Rex TV back with another video and today's video will be discussing an article by MSN Sports, that's right, Microsoft Sports. And this article was written by Ryan Phillips and the headline reads, the Lakers must do whatever they can to trade Russell Westbrook. The Lakers limped to a 15-13 record thus far on the season and appear to be anything but a well-oiled machine. The franchise's move to import Russell Westbrook over the summer was misguided from the start but has been just as bad as a fit as could have been imagined the lakers have already discussed moving westbrook and they absolutely should take any trade they can get for him westbrook was never a fit with lebron james and anthony davis a ball dominant guard who doesn't defend and can't shoot from the perimeter was never the missing piece in la what james and davis badly needed were shooters to help space the floor what they needed was a guy like buddy hill instead rob palenka wound up pulling the trigger on Westbrook instead of a knockdown shooter surrendering valuable trade pieces to get him. While Westbrook coming home to LA to try and compete for a title on his on his boyhood favorite team is a nice story. The marriage has been a disaster on the court. Westbrook has been horrendous defensively and while he's put up some decent counting stats, he isn't helping the team win games. He's second in the NBA in turnovers, averaging 4.6 per game, <laughs> and his PER of 16.29 is the worst since his rookie season. In short, this is an outright disaster. The Lakers will face significant obstacles moving Westbrook. He's making $44.2 million this season and holds a player option for $47 million for his 2022 2023 campaign he's absolutely going to opt in to his final year of his contract who is going to eat Westbrook his 47 million dollar deal for the next season when he's a declining player now if the Lakers find a ticket for Westbrook they should absolutely unload him as fast as possible this roster just doesn't work as constructed at this point LA should just try to should take any lifeline it can blow the AD LeBron rush trio up so if you guys would like to read this full article, the link is in the description box. So first things first, this is so unfair to Westbrook. You know, they are blaming everybody. They're blaming Rob Palenka. They're blaming every single person except for LeBron James. Russell Westbrook doesn't deserve all of the blame. While I agree, he is a proven nightmare and can build an entire 50 apartment complex with all those bricks he shoots. Under the right system, coaching, and putting the right pieces around him. It's been proven in history, i.e., you know, OKC Thunder 2012 NBA Finals. He's capable of being a great player. He needs to be controlled because he can sometimes get out of control. He needs someone that can rein him back in. He needs the right coach that he could trust. But I seen this coming before the trade even happened. Before y'all LeBron James fanboys run in with y'all swords and y'all night outfits trying to attack me. We need to address the root of the problem, okay? It's like a doctor that's trying to cure a disease. We need to get to the root and the problem of the situation, which is how did Russell Westbrook get here in the first place, okay? And according to my research, who wanted Westbrook here more than anyone? LeBron James. When I just read the article, you see they said, Rob Palenka was supposed to trade for Buddy Hill. They were supposed to put shooters. They was initially supposed to put shooters around LeBron James in the first place. But LeBron James, they had a convention. They all sat down. They all talked, right? Remember reports that they sat down and had this convention and they spoke about how they wanted to sit down with Westbrook and they wanted to be like brothers and they all wanted to sit together at the table of brotherhood and figure this thing out to win a championship, people. The Lakers general manager, LeBron James, pushed so hard to get Russell Westbrook here. Case in point, if you work at a job and you lobby for a friend to come work there, the friend uses you as a reference. You were instrumental in getting that person a job. You put that word in for that friend. If things don't go well and they embarrass you, then whose fault is that? Yours. It's your fault. It's your fault because remember, according to you guys, LeBron James has the highest IQ in basketball, right? LeBron James memorizes every team's plays. He memorizes every team's schemes before he plays them, right? He knows Westbrook's style of play. He knows that Westbrook's style is very much similar to his. He knows that Westbrook is a turnover machine. 
Okay, now you guys remember a guy by the name of Chris Broussard, a sports analyst who was religiously known for being on ESPN and being a LeBron James lover. Y'all remember him, right? The man who says LeBron James named the funniest, LeBron, LeBron. Y'all know that guy, LeBron, right? He always say LeBron. I need to, we need to do a, a compilation of all the videos that he's done, and we're just going to have him saying LeBron, 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 LeBron. Okay, so he used this analogy on First Things First today. He compared Russell Westbrook to like that hot supermodel girl. You know, the one that looks good, but then you get with her and you realize she isn't who you thought she was. Okay, but the reason that was a bad analogy and the reason it was horrible because that's who LeBron James is as well. You know, so when I talked to Pops today and as he said, that's like having two supermodels. Okay. This is the same man in LeBron James who's on the floor being a coach, talking to the referees, talking about bad calls and missed calls. You don't come out there and do that. That's on the coach. That's the coach's job, okay? Having fans thrown out. I mean, he's the worst supermodel ever. I got a better analogy. I got a better analogy. Let me go, okay? LeBron James is like that co-worker that pretends to be your friend and act like he's all cool, <laughs> then runs and snitch. Like a little tattletale, okay? He runs and snitch on you to the manager to snake his way to get in a higher position at the job, okay? So to be honest, the Lakers need to trade LeBron James and Westbrook. You know, as mentioned before, the Lakers traded their future for who I believe is still currently the best big man in the league, Anthony Davis, despite all the recent criticism that he's been getting because he's having a recurrent problem that Every single player that played with LeBron James has had. What is that? They become a spot up shooter when they play alongside LeBron James and they struggle to fit in. Their games struggle horribly. Okay? Your future is gone. The young court, they're gone. LeBron James is almost 40 years old, people. He doesn't like playing with young players that have to grow and develop. So you are going to trade Westbrook. And send a message that you're not going to never pass the reins of your franchise over to another star. Okay? Or is LeBron James going to be around forever? Like Tom Brady and play until he's 78 years old, people? Now, LeBron James has played good over the last five games. But the man hasn't played any top-tier teams. He hasn't played any top-tier teams. And you guys are acting like he did something so miraculous. Okay? Give me a break. We know that Westbrook is a turnover machine. We know that he could be out of control. We know that he's hot-headed. But my point is this. Why would you look at a house on fire, then go inside and get burnt up? In other words, for the slow people out there who didn't catch that, why would you trade for him if you already knew who he was? Now, LeBron James just wanted to use Westbrook to be his scapegoat to load manage early in the season. To the trade deadline then as we are now where we are approaching the trade deadline all the trade rumors will start to spiral out of control and then he could trade Westbrook and then get in playoff mode but this will all backfire horribly okay because LeBron James is old it's time to move on okay they need to trade LeBron James trade Westbrook build around your centerpiece Anthony Davis passed the torch to him and win. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get a comment. Subscribe.